I'm back, I'm working on my chair. Well, I barely left because I've been working on it all night and then I'll probably be here till midnight, take an hour break to feed my kids because they're hungry. I haven't fed them for like a week because I've been working on projects nonstop. I'm teasing. I fed my kids two nights ago. So I'm getting a little nervous about this chair with the tufting part because my little spots that I marked are getting a little messed up. How to use a button maker, part one. That came with no direction. Open the bag. I seriously have no idea how to use this. This looks like from the picture, maybe this goes on there. I'm pretty good with no directions. I don't normally read the directions anyways. All I have is a picture from what I bought it from. Who doesn't give directions with these? Richard! Okay, this thing is cool. watching tutorials of people that out. have machines that look nothing like mine and I still can't figure it out. I, I think we know why then. Why, Katie? Because people that have machines that don't look but like But they didn't send machines. me directions. Why would they give you directions if it's not the same machine? <laughs> <laughs> we talked to our draftsman today and he talked to us for a long time like two hours literally and we still probably won't have a house for five more years see what I mean about the button markings there's even some back in back in here oh there's one right there I have the whole chair stuffed and padded. It's all ready for the leather as soon as somebody can show me how to do this. But see on the back side here, they put button marks back here for me. So at least that helps. I believe this mutilated button <laughs> is supposed, this is supposed to get jammed into there, this on top, and then this goes on this and shoves the back on after this folds over from this. But they didn't give me the dowel thing to like shove this down so I can't get it enough. You get for your birthday whatever will come in one day. There's, there's lots of good gifts that you can get in one day. So when I had those eyebrows drawn on, uh, some of you were asking if I could keep you updated on the molting process. Job's home. The Lutron lights come on. I mean, the Lutron turns our lights on when he, when he pulls in the driveway. 
Anyways, they were not my real eyebrows. <laughs> like, these are my real eyebrows and stuff. Do you guys hear my cold? It's like all the way down here. I mean, there's nothing else down there. I really don't know the eyebrow thing. Whatever people do their eyebrows and they're like, they're gonna sh shed. Fully shed like in three weeks, that kind of stuff. The molting. I mean, I learned about molting from you guys when we were chicken sitting. Let me see, Kenzie. Let me see your hair. About it. Oh, Kenzie, it's what so it cute. Like? Some people were saying it looks like Kramer on Seinfeld. Okay, well, I don't know who that is, <laughs> and I hope it's not an insult. No, I think it's so cool. <laughs> I don't like it. Kramer was is like. That an insult? Kramer was like. <laughs> Kramer's like spectacular, Kenzie. Okay, well, I do a slide like you're gonna slide into really the wall. Like My softball teammates hair. think well, it's so the guy from Luca. Should we order Chinese food for dinner? Uh, 